what up y'all back here with another one and today i'm going to show you how to get resident evil 3 working on the steam deck well first of all all you're going to really need to do is just download the dll's for direct x9 and you should be good okay assuming that you already installed resident evil 3 using lutris of course and if you need help I have another video on my channel showing you how to do Resident Evil 1, which is pretty much the same way you do this one, but, you know, just do Resident Evil 3. So, after you got it installed with the offline installers that you get from GOG website, and if you have Heroic Game Launcher and you go to the store and you're logged in, you can download it from the the heroic game launcher by going to store go click on your account icon and then go to games and then go to resident evil 3 and then download there and then once you do that there you go you install it and then now you should be here and i really didn't change nothing so the other ones you needed to of course you need to put the uh, executable in here but as far as anything changed, no DG Voodoo, you don't need to do that, and no DLLs, you don't need to do none of that. This game uses completely different rendering from the other ones, so we no longer need to do all that. All we need to do is go down here, make sure you got the Resident Evil 3 clicked. You go down here to this little triangle over here in the bottom, click on wine tricks wait for the pop-up to pop up as you can see now you click ok in the next one you're going to want to click the first option install dll's or components okay And the files you're gonna need. Oh, no, excuse me. No, you don't need that one. The ones you're gonna need are these. Let me zoom in for you real quick. So it's basically all the D3 compilers. I don't know which one really worked. I just grabbed all of them. So you just, to be honest, just grab all of them from 42 to 47. Grab those four right here, as you can see. Grab these four and then scroll down until you see, oh, I'm scrolling up. Scroll down until you see D3DX9. You get this one. And then you get the D3DX943. So you get, so it's basically these two and these four up top. And then once you do that, you hit OK. It's going to install all the needed files. So just just sit back and let it do its thing and when you see this pop up again that means it's completely installed and you're good to go so you just cancel out of here and now we can run the game as you can see bang simple and clean as far as the input goes you're going to need to put it all in manually so you're going to need to go into steam input in gaming mode and actually fix it yourself so you see right now it's all glitchy it's all laggy so let's go ahead and go to game mode and i can show you Oh, and make sure you uh you add you create a shortcut right here. Create a shortcut, and then 
you're going to get a shortcut right here. Right here, Resident Evil 3. And then add this shortcut to Steam. Once you do that, you should be good. Now let's go back to gaming mode. And I'm going to show you guys the controls. So you guys could just play. You don't have to look it up. You can just bang, just see, bang, bang, bang. So it's all good. All righty. Sorry for the dogs barking, but the dogs be barking. Okay, so once we do that, let's go ahead and launch Resident Evil 3. And as far as video settings go, I have it set to uh 12 uh, 12 uh 1200 by 720 not 800 because when you got it on 720 you can use the scaling features that um are in the performance mode and i'm gonna show you guys that later so as you can see i got all this everything is good and dandy if i can find the got <laughs> oh man it's always something huh you know what <laughs> we just quit and bang let this load as you can see boom 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 This game contains gore scenes and violence. So as you can see, we can skip all that. And as you can see, my controls work just fine. I can back out. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. So let's load this save real quick that I just made just figured this out so I wanted to get this out as quick as possible so as you can see no 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 so as you can see we running fine we got everything working just fine how we want it and these are the control these are basically the settings right here as you can see right here just copy all these everything right here i don't think these necessarily work but i haven't gotten the the start menu but as far as the d-pad it's just basically the up and down key arrow keys let me show you right here these these right here and I got them set to my trackpad so and that's basically it now you can play as far as rebirth goes I try to I try to put rebirth and it didn't work it kept crashing every time I uh, started the game, so I don't know what's that. I gotta see what's up, maybe in the future. But as far as getting the native version from GOG, working on Steam Deck, there you go, here you go. And if anybody has any problems, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. All right, all right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. See ya.